Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ralph Black, and today we have a special lever review for y'all. Fresh in the mail, straight from Indonesia, we got the Golden Lever. Later. All right, y'all. So it's been about three weeks with the golden lever. Uh, probably like two and a half. Yeah, like two and a half, three. Uh, it's giving me some time to collect my thoughts a little bit on it. But before I get into it, uh, the reason I'm buying so many levers right now is I am in a bit of a lever crisis right now. So my Tae Young right here uh, died on me like two months ago. And it's really tough because like it was like I was just really getting into a groove with that one. One day it just like stopped responding to me. So then I go online and I'm looking to try to buy a replacement one. And this thing is sold out everywhere. I mean, I checked every single website, arcade, part, shop. Dude, they were not anywhere to be found. I couldn't even find it for like resale on eBay. Right now, I am in a bit of a crisis trying to figure uh, figure out like what's comfortable for me. Um, getting ready for some tournaments and stuff coming up later in the year, uh, and just grinding Tekken Eight. All right, with that being said, let's get into the review, bro. First of all, with the eye test, like this thing is clean. Like pulling it straight out the box, I'm like, yo, this thing looks fire. Like clean, got the white and gold on it. Like clean. Yeah, so everything on this is just like very balanced out the box, you know. I went with the uh, standard Korean version, so I wouldn't have to drill a hole um, to, you know, fit like a full collar in this Mad Cat stick. I think I went with the 16 millimeter actuator. This setup comes with a uh, medium tension grommet. Everything in this is like very balanced, like in the middle, like nothing, uh, you know, too far one way, like not too light, not too not too light, not too heavy on the tension. Corners aren't small, but they're not huge. And this comes in at a whopping $132 price point. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, is this worth it? Well, maybe. The coolest part about the lever is that you can customize literally everything on it, which uh, is really, I feel like the selling point for, for this lever uh, right off the box i'm not gonna lie i did not really like how it felt compared to the tae young but the coolest part about the stick is that anything that i don't like about it i can change like i wasn't really feeling the tension i feel like i need to go a little bit lighter like medium light but again i can just you know order that from the website and get that in um also wanted to play with like the actuator size and maybe change where the actuators are and again that's all things that I can do on my own. You're paying $132 to, to be a part of that system so that you can make your perfect arcade lever. So again, you have to answer that question for yourself if it's worth it or not. Um, because if you're looking for something that, you know, you can really customize and make it exactly how you want it, this is like a really cool option that you can have. Plus, I mean, dude, it, it looks really good. The, With that being said, it is gonna be more of a project. So so that's how I'm looking at this lever. Uh, like I'm not mad that I spent the money on it because again, it's going to be more of a project where I can, you know, build my perfect arcade lever, but it's not the only lever that I'm going to use until I can make it perfect. So I'm still ordering levers now to try to find one that's like great right out the box. So with that being said, I'll switch this over to the hand cam so that you guys can see this thing in action.
my final thoughts on the golden lover are uh if you're looking to buy into a system so that you can like again make your perfect arcade lever but you're willing to you know put the money and the effort that it takes is you're gonna have to like make these adjustments yourself if you're looking for something like that then the golden lever would be a really good pickup for you but again i wouldn't blame anybody for not wanting to spend 132 dollars on just the lever itself bro you can buy arcade sticks for that much so wanted to give you guys a review on the golden lever for those of you that are looking to purchase something with tekken 8 coming out you know i know a lot of people are want to get into playing on stick and i definitely encourage you to uh this is like the funnest way to play to me but with that being said my need neo just got in the mail so i'll be putting that in the arcade stick and i will do a review on this one after i've been able to play on it for a few weeks but cross your fingers for me trying to find uh the perfect clever for me for for tournaments so uh yeah with that being said i appreciate you guys tuning in please like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys on the next video Peace.